12 Alarming Signs Your Kidneys Are In Danger Of Failing Your kidneys are one of the most important organs in your body. Located just below the rib cage on either side of the spine, they act as the body's primary filter, clearing the blood of waste and toxins. They also help to regulate blood pressure, produce red blood cells, and keep your bones strong and healthy. Kidney disease can be extremely dangerous, even fatal. Did you know that one out of every seven people in the United States suffers from chronic kidney disease? That is roughly 37 million people with more than 90% unaware of the indications and symptoms. It is critical to recognize and treat any early signs of kidney disease or failure before it is too late. In today's video, we'll go over the indicators that your kidneys are in danger. As a bonus near the end of the video, will give you some pointers on how to keep your kidneys healthy. Let's get started. 1. High Blood Pressure High blood pressure is the second most common cause of renal failure. According to recent studies, your kidneys and blood vessels are inextricably linked. The kidneys filter toxins through a large number of blood vessels. They have a direct impact on your cardiovascular health and blood pressure. High blood pressure is extremely harmful to your kidneys. It affects the blood vessels in your kidneys, impairing their capacity to function normally. When your blood vessels stretch to allow for easy blood flow, they become damaged and feeble. Scarring occurs in blood vessels throughout the body, including those in the kidneys. When the blood vessels in the kidneys are damaged, they stop eliminating waste and excess fluid from the body, resulting in toxic accumulation. This can lead to renal failure. 2. Blood in urine The kidney's job is not only to remove waste from the blood, but also to keep blood cells from flowing out. When kidney damage occurs, these red blood cells begin to leak out into the urine. Hematoria, or the presence of blood in your urine, can result from this. It can cause your urine to appear red or brown. If you find blood in your urine, See a doctor right away. Even if you're not in any discomfort, blood in your pee isn't usually indicative of a serious kidney problem. There are many less serious causes of hematuria, such as intense exercise or the sometimes misdiagnosed excessive ingestion of beets, known as beeturia. Prevention is always better than cure. 3. Frequent Bathroom Trips have you been using the restroom more often than usual? This may be an indication of kidney problems. Polyuria is characterized by frequent urination and the tendency to urinate a lot each time. If you pass more than three liters of urine every day, you may be suffering from polyuria. And what if you hardly ever pee or visit the bathroom? In that situation, you may develop oliguria which is characterized by a significant decrease in urine volume per day. A number of factors, such as excessive water consumption or an underlying medical condition like nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, can contribute to polyuria. This is an uncommon condition in which the salt and water metabolism is disrupted, resulting in excessive urine production. This medical ailment develops when your body's fluids become uncontrollable. Diabetes mellitus should not be confused with nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Although they may have certain symptoms, they are distinct illnesses. 4. Swelling in ankle or foot. Edema is defined as swelling or puffiness in the legs. Fluids become trapped inside your body's tissues. As a result of this illness, the development of a tiny hole, like structure on your skin distinguishes a pitting effect which can result from even gentle pushing. When you have approximately three liters of excess fluid in your interstitial space, it usually becomes clinically obvious. Edema can develop out of nowhere and be a warning sign of kidney disease. Those who have kidney problems may find it difficult to wash out pollutants as easily as they would if their kidneys were healthy. Toxin buildup and high salt levels in your system might put unnecessary strain on your blood vessels. Fluid may leak out and pool in your bodily tissues as a result of the increasing pressure, resulting in swelling. Any type of renal ailment might cause this type of edema. 
Your kidneys are made up of a microscopic network of blood vessels called glomeruli, which are in charge of filtration. When these glomeruli, or cleaning units, are destroyed, you may develop nephrotic syndrome, a kidney illness in which your body excretes more protein than usual. Because protein functions as a water magnet, drawing water into the bloodstream, a lack of it can cause moisture to exit the blood vessels, seep out, and collect in body cells, resulting in edema. In addition to producing swelling in your feet, nephrotic syndrome can cause proteinuria, a disorder defined by an excess of proteins in your urine. Although identifying proteinuria needs a battery of tests, one simple way to tell is if your urine has lately gained a foamy quality or become bubbly. Other serious health disorders, such as congestive heart failure, liver illness, deep vein thrombosis, and protein malnutrition may cause edema. 5. Itchy and dry skin Dry and itchy skin are prevalent in those who have kidney problems. Because a damaged kidney can no longer flush toxins from your body, more pollutants build up and remain in circulation, leaving limited room for nutrients and oxygen to pass. A lack of crucial nutrients and oxygen in your skin causes it to become dry and rough. Symptoms may be subtle at first, but they will become much more evident as the condition advances. End-stage renal disease patients frequently have dehydrated skin. Your skin becomes so dry that it becomes rough and scaly, fissures easily and feels tight, and dry skin scales may form in some cases. Moisturizers and healing ointments may temporarily ease the scaliness, but it is likely to return if the underlying cause is not treated. An advanced kidney condition may also be the cause of itching. Itching can be limited to the hands, legs, or neck for some people, but it can spread across the body for others. Itching all the time can irritate you and make it difficult to go about your daily tasks. Itchiness can also cause excessive scratching. So, if you can't control your cravings and have succumbed to scratching, bleeding skin, or sores can emerge and create stiff bumps, resulting in leather-textured skin. Toxins that have been present in your body for a long time might also cause a change in skin tone. Your skin may develop an unhealthy pale or grey hue over time. 6. Back Pain Consistent pain in your lower back, usually on the sides, is another major symptom of renal disease. This indicates that your kidneys are in pain. The discomfort is usually profound and positioned directly beneath the rib cage. It can also be felt at the front of your groin or hip area. The soreness might sometimes spread to your legs. In general, such pain can signal kidney issues such as urinary tract infections, kidney stones, and trauma. Remember that nausea, vomiting, a high body temperature, and frequent urination are symptoms of renal disorders that cause back discomfort. Don't mix it with ordinary back discomfort that has nothing to do with your kidneys. It is more localized and occurs abruptly without a fever. If your back discomfort persists and pain relievers are unsuccessful, arrange an appointment with your doctor. 7. Difficulty concentrating and brain fog. Anemia is a typical side effect of chronic kidney disease. Anemia affects around 60% of people with kidney illnesses. Constant yawning, being out of breath after light physical exertion, becoming quickly annoyed, feeling exhausted, or observing an irregular heartbeat are all indicators of anemia. Anemia is a disorder in which your body lacks healthy red blood cells, which are required for oxygen transport throughout your body. A lack of oxygen causes a deterioration in all of your bodily processes, making it difficult to carry out your daily activities. As a result, your quality of life suffers significantly and you struggle to get through the day. According to research, anemia becomes more prevalent as your kidney's glomerular filtration rates deteriorate dramatically. Your kidneys have microscopic structures called glomer, you lie, as we discussed earlier, which are blood vessel bundles. The filtration procedure takes place here. 
The glomerulation filtration rate is a measurement used to analyze the efficiency of these tiny units. The greater your kidney function, the higher your glomerular filtration rate. Your kidneys produce EPO, which is a crucial hormone. EPO is required for the formation of red blood cells. When you have a kidney illness, your body produces insufficient EPO. If these levels fall, your body will produce fewer red blood cells, resulting in a lack of oxygen in your tissues and anemia. 8. Problem Sleeping You may have a sleeping disorder if you frequently lie awake at night thinking about things other than sleep. According to research, sleep disorders disproportionately affect people with kidney disease, especially those who are in end-stage renal disease. The final stage of chronic kidney disease is known as end-stage renal disease. Over time, your kidneys will become increasingly inefficient and unable to filter enough blood for your body. This will cause kidney failure over time. Only a kidney transplant or dialysis, which removes water, solutes, and toxins from the blood, can treat this disease. 80% of people with kidney failure have trouble sleeping getting little or no sleep at night, and taking more naps during the day, which can lower the quality of sleep. But what causes this? The human body operates on a 24-hour cycle known as the circadian rhythm. Because of your body's natural sleep-wake cycle, you naturally feel sleepy at night and alert during the day. Melatonin, a hormone that the pineal gland produces and that your body secretes, controls your circadian rhythm. Melatonin, is produced in small amounts during the day and in larger quantities at night. However, if your kidneys are not working properly, your melatonin production will be disrupted and you will start making more melatonin during the day than you do at night, causing you to shift to a nocturnal sleep schedule. 9. Metallic aftertaste and foul breath When kidney function declines, Waste products accumulate in the blood, a condition known as uremia. A metallic aftertaste and persistent bad breath are symptoms of uremia. Because it alters one's sense of taste, it may also cause one to lose their appetite. The medical term for this abnormal metallic taste is disguza. The accumulation of waste products in the blood due to kidney dysfunction can alter normal healthy zinc levels in the blood and contribute to the development of a metallic taste. Alternate or metallic taste may become more noticeable as the disease advances. The quality of your life will suffer if you have kidney disease. To compensate for a changed or unpleasant taste, people are more likely to use large amounts of salt, fat, oil, sugar, and condiments. The possibility of developing diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and other systemic diseases may increase as a result. A rise in sugary and fermentable carbs may also increase the risk of oral health diseases and the prevalence of tooth decay. Discusa is associated with aversion to certain foods, which can lead to a lack of appetite. Those whose sense of taste has been altered may benefit from this by losing weight. 10. Shortness of breath. It may come as a surprise, but there is a link between renal disease and shortness of breath. This is attributable primarily to two things. When your kidneys aren't working properly, surplus fluid in your body flows to your lungs. Second, anemia depletes your body's oxygen supply, resulting in shortness of breath. Remember that shortness of breath can occur for a variety of reasons other than failure. Asthma, lung cancer, or heart failure can all cause them. If you realize that you are continually short of breath while exerting minimal effort, you should consult your doctor right away. 11. Feeling cold in warm climate. You may associate feeling cold with having a fever. However, there could be underlying kidney issues. Improper kidney function might result in uremic waste buildup. This can result in uremic waste buildup. This can result in hypothermia or a drop in core body temperature. You will struggle to tolerate the cold winter months, and you may feel cold all the time, even in a heated setting. 
As previously mentioned, a feeling of coldness frequently accompanies the anemia that affects patients with renal illness, particularly in the extremities. 12. Puffy Eyes Similar to swollen ankles and feet, kidney failure can cause persistent swelling around the eyes. Protein in the urine is an early indicator of kidney damage because it indicates that the kidney's filters have been compromised. You may be losing protein through your urine because your kidneys are not retaining enough of it. This can cause puffiness around the eyes. Now that we have covered the various warning signs of potential kidney failure, let us shift gears and talk about how to keep your kidneys healthy and prevent them from failing. 1. Have a kidney disease screening. Many people are unaware that they have kidney disease because symptoms are usually not noticeable in the early stages. Anyone can develop chronic kidney disease or failure, but the risk is higher for people who have diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, a family history of kidney failure, recurring kidney stones, or are 60 or older. 2. Maintain a heart healthy diet. A balanced diet is low in sodium, processed meats, fried foods, and sodas. Focus on eating a variety of whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, and lean sources of protein. Try lower sodium versions of packaged foods and be aware that restaurant foods are frequently prepared with a lot of salt. 3. Keep an eye on your blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage the kidneys. A healthy blood pressure reading is 120 over 80 or less. Prehypertension is up to 139 over 89. Blood pressure readings above 140 over 90 or higher are considered hypertension. Healthy lifestyle changes such as reducing salt intake, eating two to three fruits and four to five vegetables per day, and exercising regularly can also help reduce blood pressure. 4. Manage blood sugar levels. Individuals with diabetes or pre-diabetes are more likely to develop kidney disease because when their blood sugar is high, their kidneys have to work extra hard to filter their blood. Overexerting your kidneys' filtration mechanisms over time can cause severe damage. Even if you don't have diabetes, it's crucial to maintain your blood sugar levels consistently throughout the day by eating often and balancing carbohydrate containing foods with protein, healthy fats, and fiber. 3. Exercise on a regular basis Regular exercise can reduce the risk of kidney disease, as well as lower blood pressure, improve cardiovascular health, and control blood sugar levels, all of which are important for kidney disease prevention. Regular exercise is defined as at least 150 minutes, about two and a half hours, of moderate intensity aerobic activity, such as walking, running, cycling, dancing, or swimming. 6. Drink plenty of water. Water helps clear sodium and toxins from your kidneys and reduces the risk of chronic kidney disease. Exactly how much fluid you need depends on your unique lifestyle and health. One way to estimate approximately how much fluid you need is to take your body weight in pounds, divide it in half, and use that number as a goal for fluid ounces per day. 7. Limit use of over-the-counter medications. According to the National Kidney Foundation, taking over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen, naproxen, or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for more than 10 days in a row, for pain or more than 3 days in a row, for fever can damage your kidneys. People with no kidney problems who take these medications occasionally are likely fine. 8. Quit smoking. Smoking damages your blood vessels and increases your risk of kidney injury. However, quitting smoking reduces your risk. If you suspect you have kidney disease, see your doctor for an evaluation. Early diagnosis and treatment can help slow the progression to kidney failure. If you already have kidney disease, See your doctor on a regular basis to monitor your kidney function. While chronic kidney disease cannot be reversed, its progression can be slowed with appropriate treatment. Now that we have learned the signs your kidneys may be in danger 
let's discuss another topic that may be of interest. Did you know certain drinks can greatly benefit your health? Wondering what they are? Watch. Drink clove tea every day. See what happens to your body. Or watch. The longest living people drink this every day. Go ahead, watch one, or even better, watch both. Will you be more cautious about your kidneys from now on? Let us know in the comments below.